Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to test out the new Milk Cosmetics Primer. Now, I've heard so much about this. This primer is brand new and it contains a cannabis oil extract. So I've just realised that now as soon as it's arrived here. So I'm thinking, oh my God, how amazing. So this is the bottle and it looks so good. I'm really, really like stunned. I love the kind of holographic kind of... Um, lime kind of look to it before i start talking about the product i just want to say hello to everyone how's everyone i've just had my hair done and i just don't know how I, it, it's really really different i'm trying to get used to it still but i've just had um, some highlights put through and it just looks so different i'm gonna wear it like a different way because obviously i don't now have that kind of harsh black kind of line it's a different look for me i'm really i'm testing it out really really kind of I don't know. I'll get used to it, but it just looks more natural and more kind of, not as harsh as kind of like a blonde kind of bright color. Um, it just looks cool, doesn't it? And I've gone for kind of more of a ashy natural blonde. Because now it's kind of more of a ombre kind of look. It's not ombre, but it's highlights through dark roots. So I've got the highlights through my roots and it's not a block color and I really like that it's more natural it's just, it's just more more maintainable as well I think so anyway stop talking about my hair so we're gonna get talking about this new um milk cosmetics con uh, concealer uh, primer so I just went on the website actually because uh, the reason why I wanted this primer was because I saw Nikki Guerrero her kind of she was doing a kind of look um, like a makeup look and she was using this this cosmetic this uh primer now i've got quite oily skin so i was looking at the reviews and i'll read them out in a minute and it's supposed, supposed to be so amazing for uh, oily skin so this primer is from the kush collection so if you don't know what kush is it's ca it's cannabis weed but I kind of got startled when I looked at the ingredients. I was just going to, you know, kind of trying to, try to prep myself for this review. And it says, hemp-derived cannabis extract. And I was just like, what? Obviously, there's no cannabis in it. And I'm just, it was just really, really shocking to me to have to, like, to, to see it. So, sorry, every time I do a video, someone is calling me. It's so annoying. So, what was I saying? It's from the Kush. I'm going to sneeze. Achoo. So it's from the Kush line. And recently, so this is on Wikipedia, so it could be wrong, could be right, I don't know. So it says, Kush came out with a new with new products containing the ingredient hemp-derived cannabis oil. For example, the products Kush Lip Glaze, Kush Lip Balm, Kush Fiber Brow Gel, Kush High Volume Mascara are some of the milk makeup's newest products. Uh, I don't know what kind of properties cannabis has on the skin. Milk makeup uses ingredients that are paraben-free, vegan and cruelty free and they no longer use any animal derived ingredients such as honey okay so that's really interesting this attracts a vast number of customers to milk makeup because of these values and the community they create through social media on their over 1.2 million followers on instagram they refer to their customers as milk mob creating a tight-knit community where instagram followers can view exclusive videos, product announcements, and campaign campaign photos. Milk makeup is also present on Twitter, YouTube, informing followers of new products and information. Milk makeup uses milk melt technology, which is a secret weapon formula made up of a unique blend of coconut waxes that melt into the skin on contact with body heat. This way, their makeup melts into your skin rather than sit on top of your skin. So this is so cool. I'm so excited to use this. And the website is so cool and I'll just show you actually, I'll read you some reviews. So I'm really kind of interested in this Kush kind of vibe. I don't know what it is and the website is very, very cool. So I'm going to just click on the Hydro Grip Primer, which is what I'm reviewing today. And it's brand new. And what it says, it says, take your skin on a trip. All right. Okay. With obviously we did makes sense hint oh sorry hit of hydro hemp derived cannabis seed extract hydrates to plump and smooth for blissed out skin grip it a shot of blue agave 
extract forms an invisible layer to grip makeup for for an all day hold allow formula one minute to fully absorb to activate the full grip effect dose up aloe water cherry blossom hyaluronic acid my best friend and b vitamins boost skin for a healthier looking base and a glassy post hot yoga class glow i like that universal goodness silicone free oil free green tinted formula blends into clear blends in clear to work across all skin tones and types so excited so i think i've talked enough about this so i'm going to get into it now I bet you're all dying to see this bloody product that I've been talking about for 10 years. So here it is. And how cool is that? Do you think it's green because of the... Sorry, my lips are really, really dry. I need to put some gloss on them. Do you think it's green because of the weed? My nails match it, don't they? My nails really match the um, bottle. So, does it smell like, does it, does it smell like weed? <laughs> so this is the, the product and it's so cool. I love the bottle and you get a lot here, don't you? It's, how many ounces is this? It doesn't even say it's on here. It doesn't say how much is it. This is weird. 45 milliliters, 1.52 fluid ounces. So this, you get a lot here. And it's nice to see how, you know, how how much you're using it. It'll go down. So you kind of see for yourself. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on my face. I mean, I can't get enough of my hair. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you're going to get so fed up with me. So I'm going to put it on my face and I'm going to obviously allow it a minute to dry. And then I'm going to do my makeup. So first of all, I'm going to try what it's like. So this is the first time ever. Ooh, I'm just gonna what it's just how what it's like on my skin. So it's very tacky. Can you hear that? So I'm gonna do that's a good test. So now I'm gonna just put it pop it on my face. I'm gonna just put how many pumps? Two pumps. Do I rub it with my hands or? Now, I've already, already done my brows because they're in an absolute state. My nose looks really red today. So my skin is getting really tacky. Can you hear that? Wow, so it's definitely stuck onto my face. My pores do look a bit more kind of blurred. I'm really happy with this, wow. And it's now dried really, really smoothly. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to add my foundation on. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender foundation. So, and use the Morphe brush. So what I generally do, I actually just tip it on my hand. Now my foundation is going on. So much better. It's really kind of gliding onto my skin. Which is really shocking, actually. Can you see? So my foundation is really applying on the skin very well. It's kind of sticking to it. And it's the coverage seems to have kind of maximised too. Wow. Can you see how much? I mean, I didn't really put that much on, so. This has worked a miracle. I'm really shocked. Wow. So that's my makeup applied. 
Can you see how, how amazing it's worked? It's really, really targeted my kind of face. And I've only put a tiny bit on. And it's really stuck onto the skin very, very well. I'm really, really pleased with this primer. I'm really shocked. I mean, my foundation normally goes on very patchy. And my skin feels very, very smooth also. Wow, I'm really, really happy. It's kind of blurred my pores also. And my skin feels soft. It doesn't feel tacky anymore. It feels very, very kind of baby soft. And I'm really, really stunned actually. I'm not just saying this for the video, but it has actually made my makeup stick kind of really, really well. I'm really happy, really, really happy. I've not done my eyelashes, but that's not what we're talking about here, is it? Wow, I'm really stunned. I mean, I love the kind of sticky kind of residue because that's how you know that it's sticking to your face without silicon, which is really, really kind of extraordinary because I always thought silicon made your kind of, um, you know, silicon ingredient in the primer made your primer kind of stick. So I am absolutely stunned, very, very happy with it. Just gonna pop some mascara on just to finish off the look. Now, if anyone has an, um, a suggestion for some mascara, can you please let me know? Because this so far seems to be the best mascara I've used. So I've just added a tiny bit of mascara, so I'm really... And there we go, guys, that's the look. I'm really feeling my hair like this. Primer is 10 out of 10 from me. I can't believe I've got it. I'm so happy. What do you think of it? Do you have it? Have you heard about it before? Would you like to try some out? Tell me what you think of it. I'm gonna put it back in the box because I just hate taking things out of boxes. I don't know why, it's just very CD. So yeah, my skin has definitely gone on a trip. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this review. Let me know what you think of um, Milk Cosmetics. Is it for you? Isn't it for you? Do you have a better primer? Because I quite like the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. I've been using that quite a bit. So let me know what you think. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.